what's up guys? It's fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. Lord of shit. Figured I'd make kind of a game vlog for you all. Oh fuck. So, uh, you know, I've been chilling out. Um, I'd like to talk about, uh, some games real shit. Um, cause gaming, gaming's something that can bring people together because, you know, every, every gamer is different. Um, uh, like when I game, I'm usually either smoking one of these, a cigarette, or I'm puffing on a bowl, a ball, a joint, a blunt, whatever, if I have the weed to put my shit into, whatever just happens to be around me at the time. So, uh, you know, and it, it's weird. You get all types of different people. You get, like, the angry, raged people that just enjoy yelling at shit for no fucking reason. You have the respectful people that no matter if they win or lose, they always are just respectful about it. And, and they congratulate you on a good game. And, you know, whatever. So, different people, different shit, different things. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's all good. Like, I ain't gonna... Uh, I ain't gonna stress over nothing. I love gaming, though. I think it, it, it's one of the things that, that brings... That makes life a little better. Smoking, gaming, and my girl. Uh, yeah, shout out to you, babe. Uh, love you. But uh, that was not gay. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, It gets stressful. It does. Because once you get into a game and you start getting good at the game, that's when it becomes competitive because when you at first you're just like ah, I don't really give a fuck it's just a game you're just fucking around but then you get good at it or you think you're good and then you just want to start beating people because it's like fuck you I'm better than you but to be honest here we all we all need to, to take a chill pill because uh, otherwise gaming is going to turn into some like racist shit where like you know um this is going to be constant bickering and arguing and, and, and nothing's ever going to get done. Kind of like here, like in America itself, there's so much racism and it's so easily to be solved. I mean, if everybody just respected each other, there wouldn't be any. Kind of like gaming. If you all just respected each other, there wouldn't be any issues. However, some of you need to be shot in the fucking face or kicked off of a fucking cliff into a shark's mouth. Like, you fucking people are ridiculous. Like, I used to have faith in humanity. I used to think that one day things would get better. But then after playing The Last of Us, I realized that the humanity is fucked. And it is thanks to people like them. And I, I want to say, like, me in general as well. Because, you know, everybody likes to fuck around. I like to fuck around too. Shit, joking is my thing. But it's once you start getting personal with the joking where it becomes an issue. Like, you want to joke around, say I'm trash, do whatever. Do you. The second you're like, yo, I fucked your mom, oh, now you have an issue. Call me trash. I beat your ass in the game. That's all that fucking counts. You know, once you bring my mom, my family, my friends, my girl, whatever into conversation, if I don't know you, they, they, if I knew who you were, if I knew where you lived, I would beat you the fuck up. Like, I wish there was a thing in the PS4 where, like, the second somebody started talking shit, you could immediately, like, get flashed into, like, a fucking alternate dimension and you could just fight it out and whoever wins, wins, you know? Like, that would be such a cool thing. And, uh, it would allow me to beat the shit out of people that are fucking faggots. Like, most of you fucking faggots. So, uh, just know, like, if you suck at the game, you suck at the game. If you're running around with a shotgun in every last one of your classes, you have a shotgun class because you know, I, I, I gotta have a shotgun to do good. Don't use the shotgun. Get, let's say, 10 downs or something that game. And then try to say that you're good. Don't do that. Because there's people who are getting downs way more than you using a 9mm pistol. If I can use a 9mm pistol and get more downs than you and you're using a fucking shotgun, you're not good. I, I know shotgun users, me, myself, if I bring out a shotgun in the game... It's very rarely that I'm going to go less than 10 down using it. Unless I'm not really buying it and I just bought it for the two shots in the beginning because somebody on your team had a shotgun and I just wanted to drop the shotgun with the shotgun to be a dick. Which is not really a dick move. That's called getting what the fuck you deserve. Also, here's another thing. Pay attention to your team's weapons. 
real shit. Because don't yell at us for having a burst rifle if there's a burst rifle on your team. And also don't say try to say something like, oh man, you guys had a shotgun if you brought out the shotgun first. So, pay attention to that. Now let's give him the actual some tips. First, let me kind of message my girl here. I don't know if that will stop anything. Uh, hopefully not. It did not. Okay. I just broke my phone and that probably stopped it. It did not either. So some tips, back to the gun thing, watch your team, your team is the most important thing in The Last of Us, and yeah, damn, you responded quick as shit, babe, but uh, because if, you, if you're if you not looking at your map and you're kind of just running around like looking at the general area in front of you, and like the actual screen and not your map up in the corner, you're going to die quite a bit, more than you would like to, because uh, one, it's it's what happens on your map that's important. Because you know, if nobody's shooting your teammates, that nobody is there. So if your teammate's to the left of you, you know that you can drift to the right, because that's probably where they're going to be. Or you can drift back to your team knowing that they're on the right, so you can hit a box or regroup with your teammates if needed. To be good at the game, and I know this from experience and from watching the people that are the best of the best, if I took my own advice, I'd be really good. I don't because I don't care enough about the game in general. Like I love the game. I care a lot about it. I like the, the whole KD system and all that. Um, I just, I, I lose focus on the game. I'm smoking too much. I'm not trying enough. You know, whatever. But when I do try, I usually use these tips, these tactics. If you want to be successful, and I mean successful as an individual player, not so much as a team player, which will be mixed into it. As a successful one player, where no matter what your score is, no, oh wait, well, your score is going to count, but no matter what, usually, you're going to have people on your team that are going to appreciate what you do. One, if you know you can't kill people, you're not very good at those gunfights, you get one-on-one -on -one and you just get dropped. Make a Reviver Healer class, alright? Nothing means more to players than a Reviver Healer class, because most good players aren't going to use that class because they know they can kill people and they need their points on the perks to help them kill people, not so much a healing class. So if they have one on their team, it's extremely useful. Um, go back to looking at your teammates and shit, like, if you're a healer, you know where your team's located, you can kind of move around them secretly almost, like almost like a spy. And while they're getting shot, while they're getting hurt or even damaged and maybe down, Come in, you sweep in, get the kills, pick them up, heal them, and boom, you just got massive points and you got a couple of kills. I um, I hate people that do that, by the way, but it is a good tactic. Um, also, some conversations with, like, The Last of Us 2. I mean, uh, I don't know too much about it. I do know that there needs to be a lot of improvements to the game. The story mode, I think, is fine. I love the story mode. I think they definitely need to do something. I think they need to make, like, a co-op story mode where I could play with my friend and we could do and we could run through the game together like we could do like a a walkthrough gameplay of the game while we play together which would be way cool it would be really great for youtubers and people that do run run throughs and gameplays of that shit and walk i said run throughs but walk throughs and gameplays of that really help them out um because you would have two people explaining it as it goes for like the guns and shit there needs to be there needs to be um a certain level of like and stop being stupid because you can't put like I think at least in Naughty Dog's mind they put these OP last guns in the game not thinking that anybody was going to use them but you know you, everybody's going to use the OP weapon that's just how it is not everybody but the people that are sucky are going to use the OP weapons because they fucking suck so don't don't add more OP weapons. Let's not do that. Let's not just make OP classes. I don't I'm not I'm not down with that. I want to see skill. Like, in Call of Duty, it's not a really skilled game because, I mean, yes, if you play enough, you get a certain level of skill, but, like, I know it's I know it's a little contradictory, the, the, the contradiction to say, like, you can't go from Call of Duty to Last of Us and expect to be good, but you can't really go from Last of Us to Call of Duty and expect to be good either due to the fact that it's lack of game. However, I will put money on it. You take the COD player who's never played Last of Us and put him on The Last of Us, he's going to get wrecked. 
You take the Last of Us player and put him on COD, he might not do that bad because he's used to being secretive. He's used to watching his team. He's used to watching the map. That's what he does because that's how The Last of Us is. So he's not just going to run out there and get killed like most people on Call of Duty would. He's going to stay back a little bit, watch his team do his work, and then get a couple of kills himself. So that's the difference, in my opinion. Like, you go from one game to the other. Like, I went from Last of Us to Call of Duty, and, uh, well, that's kind of a lot. I went from Call of Duty to Last of Us. I didn't like Call of Duty. I didn't really like multiplayer shooting games like that at all because most of them were like Call of Duty and, and are pretty fucking trashy. And uh, Last of Us came out and the multiplayer was amazing. I loved it. Greatest multiplayer out there. It's like the greatest multiplayer with the worst people. If you put some respectful good people that are skilled at the game in the game, that would be fantastic. But the people that play Last of Us are like these ridiculous ass stupid people. Like I've I've had couple of friends on The Last of Us that I'm very glad aren't my friends anymore, uh, uh, fuck, Deadshot or some shit, forget his fucking name, his fucking sniper dude would just take kills, cause he would just snipe at anything that moved, so if you down the guy, he would snipe it anyway, cause it fucking moved, it was fucking ridiculous, uh, and he wasn't even, like, that good, so he wasn't even, like, that good sniper that would take it down and it would be okay. It would take a kill and it would be okay because he would have 11 fucking downs because he would get headshots. No, no, no. He would get, like, two a game and then try to act like he was good. This shit was fucking annoying. Absolutely annoying. And, uh, you know, there was a couple people that I'm glad that I don't play with anymore that I used to. Like, the group I run with now, our, our group, is I love it way more than I used to because we're actually a good team. Me... It's usually me, my friend Will, and my friend Braves, and, uh, you know, I, respect to those two guys, they're really good at the game. Uh, every now and again, we have this guy Castro, who's a complete pussy-ass bitch, complete faggot, Mexican needs to get deported, whatever. Uh, and we also have this guy, Ron, who is, uh, is pretty much a douchebag, he doesn't get on as much. Fuck you, Ron, like, I fucking hate you. Uh, he doesn't get on as much as he used to, so it's usually me, Will, and Braves, and it's usually us three. And, and we run on people, like... That's just how it is, like, when we're actually communicating and actually trying, we go on, like, 39-game winning streaks, 15-game winning streaks, 10 games, 20 games, whatever. We will run through an all-nighter and just win and, you know, have the only couple of losses to either shotgun users, launcher users, or bomb expert three try-hard teams. And even some of those we win, but some of them we lose. So, uh, this is going to be it for this Last of Us vlog. Peace out, guys. Love you all. Mwah. That was gay. Take that out. We're going to edit that shit out. I do love you all, though. I hope all of you all have a great time, great weekend. Uh, the weekend's over. Great next weekend. Uh, a great week in general. I hope all of you all do what you got to do. Stop in for the next video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Boom, bitch. Peace.